Welcome back to News 4 at 5. Today across the U.S., bees are getting so scarce and so valuable that people are stealing hives from almond farms in California and then selling them at very steep prices. That's because the populations of bees have been in decline for the last few decades. Extinction rates for pollinators have jumped to 100 to 1,000 times the normal rates. That's according to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Well, today the U.S. has only 2.5 million honeybee colonies, less than half of the bee settlements it boasted 80 years ago. A loss of bees means a lack of pollination for crops, and without bees, crops worldwide would suffer, making nuts, fruits, and vegetables more expensive and more difficult to produce. If you was to eliminate all the pollinators in the world, you would spade and neuter nature because everything is dependent on pollinators. Across the world, bee populations have been shrinking for years, and we are at risk of losing all bees in the next 100 years. As it happens, tomorrow is National Honey Bee Day, and the St. Louis Zoo is helping you celebrate by helping to feed a bee. We sent our Kristen Cornett to learn more about why helping the honey bee is so important. Bees are facing a lot of challenges, and one of those is forage and habitat. So by planting a plant, learning about the bees in our observation hive, and taking their plant home, everyone can feed a bee. Bayer launched the Feed a Bee program to address the challenges honeybees are facing. While finding food and habitat is one, the other big challenge is the varroa mite, which is like a tick that attaches to the bee and transmits disease. After suiting up and double and triple checking for any holes, I headed in to check out Bayer's research hives where they are studying the damage that is done by the mites. This has high mite loads, so, so these are all, all, all damaged pupae. Shaking out one of the frames shows us what these mites look like. Yeah, there's a, look at all the mites. There, there, there's dozens of them. Those tiny black specks you see, those are the mites. I had the chance to try my hand at beekeeping by smoking the bees, which helps calm them, and even pulling out a frame to inspect for mite damage. Honeybees in particular are incredibly important to our food supply. So, so there's no other pollinator that you can actually pick up and move to where you need them. So what can you do at home to help support the bees? So everyone can help by planting pollinator-friendly flowers. Native flowers work really well. And you can pick one up for free Saturday at the St. Louis Zoo. We're bringing our Feed a Bee program to the St. Louis Zoo. We'll be right outside the Bear Insectarium where individuals can come. They can transplant a native Missouri pollinator plant and see the observation hive of honeybees up close and personal. The program runs from 9 a.m. until noon. In Chesterfield, Kristen Cornett, News 4.